What's going on guys? This is your prayer back with more codex and we're going to start on the HTML part of structure structure part of HTML today and it looks like number 8 is blueprint. So let's get started here. All right, HTML structure. Now that we know how to spin up a web page, let's get back to the basics and explore how to structure our HTML files better. Here are some must-haves in an HTML file. The doctype HTML is the document type declaration that appears at the top of a file of an HTML file and tells the browser that our file is written in HTML5. This is used with an HTML element containing all the code processed on the page. We skipped them in the first chapter, but all HTML files must start with a doctype HTML declaration and the HTML element. Notice how the doctype HTML doesn't have a closing tag while HTML does. Inside HTML, there should be two elements. In head contains all the info for your browser that's not visible on the page, and body contains all the content that you will end up seeing on the page. The title element goes in the head and assigns text to the browser tab. The browser tab looks like this when you visit codex.io. The code for this would be, and all of the main code that goes in the body element. Let's practice HTML structure by creating a file called blueprint.html. Make sure to add the following, a doctype HTML, HTML head, slash head, and slash HTML. Inside that, we need the body. All right. Um, make sure you have a head element and a body element with a paragraph. So here we need a paragraph. This is our paragraph. And then in the heading, we need a title. We're going to call this blueprint and let's run this code this is our paragraph all right um, you now have the blueprint that you can use for all future HTML files complete Feature unlocked. You have 100 XP. This means you can now join our Discord community to chat and hang out with fellow learners and the team behind Codex. See you there. All right, we'll do that later. Go to the next one. All right. The next one is a family tree, parents and children. The elements in our HTML file are arranged much like a family tree. Most individual elements can be parents with one or more child elements. For example, doctype HTML, head, title, head, body, well, I, well, howdy there. This means this is italicized. Here are some relationships. Head and body are children of HTML. Title is the child of head. I is the child of P and grandchild of body. Elements can also be siblings if they share a direct parent element. Take this unordered list for instance. The two LI elements are siblings because both are children of the same parent. Instructions. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Create a family tree HTML file for your family using list elements such as UL and LI elements. If you are stuck, try doing one for the British royal family, the Kardashians, the Starks, or the Simpsons. Once you are done, ask yourself which elements are parents, which elements are children, which elements are siblings. Set up your web page properly with the doctype.html. So we're going to do doctype HTML, HTML head title is going to be family tree. And then we'll do the body. I like to go ahead and close so I don't forget because I do forget. All right, so that's the body. Paragraph. I 
need a hint. So we just put the list. Um, I'm going to Um, yeah, so I can have a list. I think I'm trying to make this. I mean, I can put an unordered list. But, oh, so we're just making a list of the family. Okay, I get this. All right. So we'll put Peter. Um, I forget what all their names are. Lois. Ryan's going to be added in there. Dewey. Can't forget Meg. And there's one more kid there. Uh, Chris is his name. All right, let's run that. Okay, so here it's talking about which elements are which. So, um, parent would be the HTML. Body would be a kid from HTML. The UL and the paragraph are both children of the body. I think I think we got it. So let's go and move on to the next one. All right, now we are on to comments. Craigslist ad. Comments are useful for taking notes about the logic and intentions behind different parts of our web page. They help us understand what our code is doing, especially if it was written a while ago. Not only should comments benefit whoever wrote the code, but they should also be helpful to anyone reviewing it later. How do we comment in HTML? It's simple. I am a comment and I'm not a comment. Everything surrounded by that and that. Comment markers is ignored and not rendered on the browser. Um, inline versus multi-line. Comments are super flexible because they can span multiple lines. They can also be used within an element. No, it isn't recommended that you ac be excessive with comments. They should be used sparingly and be removed when no longer needed. Craigslist is a website that looks straight out of the 90s. That's because it has stayed roughly the same. It was started by Craig Newark in 1995 as an email list for his San Francisco friends. Today, the company does over $1 billion a year in revenue, that's shocking, operating from a tiny office. Here's a screenshot of a Craigslist ad. Craig needs some help with the code base. Can you help them clean up some HTML using what you learned about the comments and formatting? Copy and paste this. Don't touch anything yet. Run this file to see what it looks like. So we're going to copy that, paste it, and run it. Okay. Um, now edit the HTML based on the comments and help Craig finish the code. Okay. Write code below. Hi, it's Craig. Can you add for sale in the title below? For sale. Um, so I guess like after I do that, I can delete it, right? the comment because it's no longer applicable. Add some comments below to document what each line means. So we need to do uh, for sale digger redo. So this is what each line means. So this line is heading for post um, 
this line is the image for post needs work for you to get home this is the item description we'll say add the bullet point in the picture and then uncomment the code below okay so add the bullet point delete all right there's that um why did the for sale not pop up hold on a second oh because that should be on the that should be on the tab which we can't see so all right guys we have completed eight through ten i believe on the structure so i'm going to go ahead and end this episode here but you guys let me know what you guys think of codex so far and i will see you guys on the next one thank you for hanging out bye